What is up guys, Sinistix here with another gameplay commentary and today obviously I'll be reviewing the Spaz 15. Now about the Spaz 15 I do find, uh, I find that it was nerfed greatly um, when the shotgun and pistol nerf came out or was um, patched and whatnot. I gotta say um, this weapon used to excel in range and now it far from does that. Uh, it has little to no range now uh, or the damage drop off at range is just too great. So um, all in all, though, still a great shotgun for close quarters, but that's about it. Uh, any other confrontation with this weapon at long range, it just doesn't have the capabilities anymore. Though, um, I would still recommend it, just not for the, uh, wow, the battle-hardened player uh, who's so used to a shotgun that's really effective. This one's, it gives you that slight challenge, so... Um, and that challenge being that uh, you can't really uh, rely on it at range and just the the recoil of the weapon. That's something that the uh, Spaz 15 has always suffered from is a uh, high recoil. So, um, like I said, it's one of the disadvantages. And um, it's, you know, it's not much to sacrifice being that, you know, it is a shotgun. And, you know, all shotguns got to have some type of drawback. Um, of course, it's the same reload at... Um, well, it's not the same. It's about the same timed reload as the Saiga 12. Um, as for the fire rate, it does feel slightly faster, but it may actually be the same. So um, there may be no difference there. I'm just thinking that there is. Um, and yes, I know. I keep dying by my claymores. I don't understand this. Um... I know I'm spamming claymores a lot. I don't typically use claymores. I never did, even when they had the booster to, um, like, max out the damage. Um, this is really one of my first times doing it, and I'm, you know, I maxed them out, and then I put the booster just to get even more. And I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm abusing it a lot, but, um, I mean, it's not always a guaranteed one-hit kill, so, yeah, call me a, a, a spammer, but, you know, at least it's not doing, like, massive kill sprees where it kills, like, five people with one, you know, and then same with grenades. Uh, the only reason I have grenades on my recon right now is because I'm being aggressive and I uh, only have one point on it so not really uh... As for this weapon it has 14 rounds per magazines. As far as magazines total I want to say it's four maybe five. I'm not really sure. Uh, I doubt it would be that that much but um, of course when we go into the uh weapon screen we'll see from there so uh, we'll get around to that later on as for uh, other stats of the weapons uh, we'll get to that as well so all in all I gotta say this weapon uh, as you can see here it's not really the greatest shotgun it has it provides a great challenge it's uh, you know but it's still all in all it's an auto shotgun and you, you should be able to pick it up and do it be able to use it right away um, as far as hip fire accuracy it does not have uh, any whatsoever uh, you can but um it you're better off aiming down sight with it, which sounds crazy. I mean, it's a shotgun and all, but, um, I mean, that's how bad the, uh, you know, look at the, uh, you're suffering great recoil when firing from the hip. So, I mean, what do you think's better to do? So, uh, it's better just aim down sight, suffer from the accuracy while aiming down sight, and just go from there. You're, uh, you're not, you have a better chance of, uh, gaining the accuracy from actually aiming. So, if that makes any sense. With that being said, like I'm trying to justify this weapon, it's not all bad. Give it a try. Um, I don't know what rank you have to be to unlock it. I don't know how much it costs, but um, that's got to go into the damage. As for the total damage, at longer ranges, it's 10s to 15, so it's not really that much. Um, not uh, really the best you would see for shotguns. As for close range, yeah, it does a little bit more damage. Um, as you saw there, I actually did 100 for a headshot. Um, he must have healed himself last second. This is ridiculous how many claymores you can set, guys. I can't get over how funny that is. I can just continuously set them. Um, that just means when recons are covering a base, it's going to be crazy. Um, 
besides that, guys, nothing much else to say about this weapon. Just quite simply, it's, uh, in, in my opinion, I enjoy it. It's an impressive shotgun. Uh, I mean, the Saiga still is better, but um, I enjoy it for, you know, just those really close quarters confrontations that I can somewhat rely on it for range. Uh, not much, but even the slightest bit is good. Um, I mean, because most shotguns you can't rely on that for uh, when it comes to semi-automatics. So, um, of course, it tastes like it has about the same amount of rounds as well. Not the Elite's use ass anymore. That one has about 10. So it has more than that, and it takes a little bit less to kill with. So uh, that's one of the advantages to it. Why I enjoy it. Um, of course, for long range, you will be spending more ammunition. And I'm sorry. And, and let me just apologize now. I'm sorry if my commentary isn't the greatest of quality. I, it feels like it's been forever since I did one. Uh, I really haven't even played since I did the PDWR commentary. I just kind of stopped there and uh, uh, took a break for the weekend and just, um, you know, worried about work for a while. Um, now, as you saw there, trying to go uh, long range with it, it's best to have a great sidearm. If you're trying to go positive with just this weapon, it's kind of impossible. Just try to stick with your, um, you know, reliable sidearm. And as you know, the uh, P226, I think it's a rank 8 unlock. It's uh, on a sale for half off. And um, I, I gotta say, dude, get it, guys, just get it for your recon. I don't know what it is about it, but it is just one of the greatest pistols as far as hip fire accuracy and aim down sight accuracy. Um, that being said, I mean, if, you, if you're if you hitting someone at long range with your rifle and, you know, you, you don't want to finish them off with another shot, you just pull out that P226 and finish them off that way. I'm sure this commentary will be coming to an end pretty soon. Yeah, it's really tired doing these commentaries so early in the morning. Had to do it for the sake of the commentary at the end, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to really spawn gill like that. I mean, I did mean to, but didn't mean to go overboard with it. Well, there you go, guys. You don't see me do that much in the commentary anymore. 31-3 and three, uh, with a last-minute little spawn camp and deal. Um, hate me for it. Love me for it. I don't really care. I hope you all enjoyed this commentary, but I'm going to be going on to the loadout screen and uh, give you all the rundown on what the weapon stats are. Though they won't be the, you know most accurate stats because as we know now the store stats are you know we've been knowing this well see you in the loadout screen guys alright guys sorry about the wait uh well there's no wait for the video but for me I went ahead and played a few more rounds um and I did about just the same now on to the stats of this weapon on the end game store the damage is high coming in at you know 400 for a, a decent like uh, like I don't know how you well for a headshot that is to the upper part of the head and if you're not spamming rounds and if you actually take your time or maybe try it out with a friend you'll see what I'm talking about you can get a, a decent like one shot kill headshot it's not often uh, I did it when I was in midair I think that you have like a little bit more of an advantage of getting a headshot while you're in midair because you're above the head typically so you could fire down on them uh, if that helps any. As for the accuracy, it's medium. I mean, it's a shotgun. It has a. It actually has a tighter spread, though, being that it has better range. Um, it, now that it says it has short range, which is just ridiculous, because it used to have long range. Uh, as for the ammo, I was right. It was uh, four mags total, so it's 14 rounds of four mags total, and it's a medium semi-auto. I still find that it's pretty quick for. Uh, I mean, it's not faster than the new SAS 12, but for semi-automatics, it's pretty quick. It's but it's on par with the SPAS. Uh, I mean the Saiga 12, um, though it does feel a little bit better being that um, it, all the shots are uh, placing better, especially at, uh, at range, as for where the Saiga, you know, it just it spreads more, but it dishes out more damage and uh, a little bit quicker. Well, guys, that's pretty much all for the stats of the weapon. Um, of course, I hope you all went and uh, got your three-day uh, XP boost for the Facebook for them reaching uh, 
300k or 30k likes. I don't really know how many likes they have or whatnot, but uh, all they gave us was like a three-day XP booster. They seem to give us more for simple things, but when it comes to them getting more fans, all of a sudden they used to give us a lot more, and now they just gave us a three-day XP boost. You know, it's kind of kind of lame, but you know, it's uh, it's something. And uh, I'm almost ranked 25 at my uh, uh, recon, so I might as well just. Uh, you know, uh, put that towards it as for my engineer. Uh, I was closer to ranking up to 22, but I ended up just waiting that off and went ahead and bought that PDWR, if y'all remember from my last video. But, um, besides that, guys, that sums up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what I'll be doing next. Uh, everyone wants me to do the Cerberus stock, but here's the thing about that. In store, it's, it lies, obviously, just like it did with the, uh, Nemesis, how it actually takes away three damage, not just one. Um, what kind of stock reduces the amount of damage at range and reduces the range? I, I, I don't understand, but um, it's it's not worth getting. I mean, the Nemesis is obviously better. The Tactical is better. Standoff is uh, stabilized is better. Thunderbolt definitely better than that one. So um, I, I really don't see the point in doing a video on it. If y'all want to see it so bad, rent it for a day, try it out. I mean, I'm I would like to, but I have so many special requests on my hands right now. I don't even know what to get to first. I keep for I can't keep track of all the special requests I get. It's just not something I want to do at the moment. So uh, I hope y'all understand that. But uh, I will try in future videos to come because I I'm I'm not gonna stop after I'm done with all the weapons. Obviously, they're still gonna be releasing more, and obviously, you know, there's so many more attachments that's gonna be released, and I'll try to get around to them. But as for like this copperhead barrel and the the new stock that came out, I mean, I, I just have no interest in getting to them at the moment. Um, I have to currently find out uh, something else I'm going to use. Uh, or do a video on. Um, I still have to do the SVUA, which I may end up doing that next. Someone submitted a video. I keep saying this, and I, I just never get around to it. But he submitted a video, and I just need to go ahead and uh, upload that. Um, I mean, it's it's been sitting in my inbox forever. Uh, but that's that's going to be one of the first and probably the only times I use someone else's video. Being that I can, I personally just cannot use that gun to save my life. Um, the SVUA, it's just terrible in my opinion. But guys. There you all have it. I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay commentary, and as always, much love and respect on the battlefield, soldiers. Peace.